Hey everyone, Rich Morton from Isotope, here with our friends at Plugin Boutique, and I'm back once again to tell you about an exciting new release. This time around, it's the turn of our industry standard mastering suite, Ozone. With the launch of Ozone 9, we've introduced a host of new features. We've improved the performance, enhanced the workflow, and updated the imagery and metering. Ozone 9 Advanced benefits from two brand new modules, Master Rebalance and Low End Focus. We've also updated Tonal Balance Control. So let's explore some of these in more detail. Okay, so let's jump right in with a couple of the major features that we've introduced into Ozone 9 Advanced. Um, now, before I get started here, I'm gonna just blow the GUI up, which is one of the um, small tweaks that we've made to the, the graphical interface. So now you can expand that out and make that as big as you need. So first, let's take a look at Master Rebalance. Master Rebalance uses some of the technology that we developed for RX7's Music Rebalance. And this takes it one step further by actually allowing you to use this for real-time source separation of either the vocals, bass, or drums. Now, you might be asking yourself what the real need or requirement for that is. Well, you may be in a situation where you, for one reason or another, can't get hold of the source tracks, the, the, the original multi-track, or the stems, in which case, having this ability to dive into the mix and actually transparently raise or lower the vocals or the bass or the drums is, is actually incredibly useful and a huge time saver if you think about how, the other methods that you might try to use to do this. Um, to just give a quick review of the controls, the focus is essentially the source that you are going to act upon, and you then have a control here which allows you to either apply 8 dBs of gain or 8 dBs of attenuation, up to 8 plus or minus. So if I now play this track, it's a track called Small Victory by Transviolet, and I'm on the final chorus here. The mix itself, as it is right now, the vocal is very prominent, it's very upfront, and it maybe needs to be taken back just a little bit, but I'll play that through. So something to note while we're actually looking at the spectral metering there, right at the forefront, this bright blue line is the spectral metering for the currently focused source, which at the moment is the vocals. And the grey line in the background is the remainder of the mix that is obviously minus the vocals in this case. So now just to give you a, a, a little bit of a flavour for adding the gain, if I push that all the way up to 8 dB. Now equally pulling that down by 8 dB. So as you can hear, it's, it's an incredibly transparent algorithm. It's working in real time and allowing you to very, very um, cleverly manipulate the level of the vocals. As I say, this sounds to me like it's very prominent, very forward in the mix. I'm gonna take that back just by, you know, maybe two and a half, maybe three, maximum three dB. So I'm pretty happy with how that's sitting in the mix now. So let's do a quick AB comparison. So that's shaping up nicely. Okay, so the second new module in Ozone 9 Advanced that we're gonna take a look at is the Low End Focus module. Now, this is utilizing technology called spectral contrasting and essentially is designed specifically to help you to bring clarity and definition to your low end in your mix. So you're acting upon anything from zero hertz with these action region controls here, all the way up to 300 hertz. And the concept behind this is similar to the contrast control on your TV that allows you to adjust um, the sort of maximum brightness, if you like, of, of a particular signal, or maximum brightness and darkness of a signal more specifically. And so what it's allowing in this instance to do with these punchy and smooth controls is it's actually allowing me to define or prioritize in punchy mode the transient signals within that 
action region that you see on the screen there. So any of those, any transient information of a certain amplitude is prioritized. And when you increase the contrast, what that does is it increases the difference between those transients and all of the other noise or all, all the other audio within the action region. So if I want to make a kick drum more punchy, for example, I can select the punch mode focus in on the area of the audio where that kick drum is and then dial up the contrast. Now for this particular mix that we're working on and we're still taking a look at the the small victory track here I want to really focus in on this particular area of the chorus. So I'm going to switch in smooth I'm going to add some definition and some clarity to the sustained bass notes so I've switched in smooth mode if I switch on the solo here, I can actually use that to narrow in and focus in the, um, the action region to make sure that I'm not over-processing areas of the frequency range where there isn't any signal that's related to this. Um, take solo off, and now I can increase the contrast control. And as you can hear, as I'm dialing that up, you're actually able to really define those sustained bass notes. The interesting thing here is that while it's prioritizing those sustained bass notes, it's actually not having any impact on the transient information. So it's not sort of smudging or smoothing out the, the kick drum or the snare. It's retaining their dynamics, um, but it's also just adding that extra emphasis on the sustained bass notes. Now, if I switch that process on and off, you'll get a good A-B comparison. So this is the original. And now with the added low end focus. So what we've explored today is really only scratching the surface with what Ozone 9 is capable of. For more information, go to pluginboutique.com.